This is one of the biggest terraces I've ever seen. It's crazy big. And this is how big our terrace is. I mean, this terrace basically matches the apartment in terms of size. Hey, what's up everyone? This is David Hoffman from David's Been Here in Ahmedabad, Gujarat, India. And right now I'm gonna give you my apartment tour. If you guys don't know, I love traveling around the world on Airbnb. It's the best way, it's the most local way. You stay in you know suburbs. And right now we're staying about a 20-minute drive southwest of the center of Ahmedabad. In this building, we got an awesome two bedroom, two bathroom, penthouse, rooftop apartment. It is amazing. I really love it. It's very easy. We take Uber from here and get around. Now let me show you the apartment. Follow me. The way this building's structured is the bottom is all retail. There's actually a chicken place right here. And it's a little strange because here in Gujarat, like 95% of the people are vegetarians. So we have non-veg food here. Then we have some other like retail shops. We have apartments. And ours is all the way up there. So we have that whole section on the right, the whole entire apartment. There's no entrance in the front. The entrance is actually on the side. It's like a small little alley right here between these two buildings. We go into it, and then on the right we have a little passageway. Now follow me. So this is like our little lobby. And right here this is like, I guess a scooter parking, as you can see, like scooters. There's where people park all their scooters. Pretty cool. And right here, I, mean, I gotta show you one thing before we go anywhere. Look at all the electrical boxes here. Look at this, it's like really old school. This, this place must be like from the 60s. Super old school. Super old school. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm losing my voice, guys. <clears throat> but yeah, here we have, you know, mailboxes. And unfortunately, uh, the elevator just went up, so now we have to wait. Oh, and this is the name of the complex. Regency Park Plaza. Basically, they copied somebody in New York. <laughs> That's funny. That's, it is funny. That's right. The elevator's here. And this is how it works. You have two gates, right? Open them both. Come in. And then you have to close the outside one. Close the inside one. Now it's ready. Fifth floor. Fifth floor. So the crazy thing about these old elevators is that if you don't close both of the gates, it's literally out of commission. Like, it stops going up or down, it's just stuck wherever it is. Yeah, I agree, Sam. That sucks. <laughs> <laughs> but look, look. So you can see each floor as you go up, right? Yeah, Very old school. So slow, man. I mean, this is like 1970s. I know. <clears throat> I don't even, I've never seen one of these around in America, but I haven't really gone to a really old building in a long time. Here we go. Fifth floor. Open, open, open all the way, right? Now, I gotta close it again. Close it. If I don't do that, the whole building stops working. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And let me show you something really fast. Look, look at the views from here. So you have views, I mean, somewhat views. And the cool thing is we saw monkeys up here last night. They were on right here. And that's actually part of our rooftop. Yeah. But I'll show you that now. We actually have two locks. We have a top lock and a bottom lock. This is the extra security. So I'll start with that. Open. One. Two. All right, so once we enter, as you can see, a little hallway. We have some plants out here, huge gecko. <laughs> <laughs> and then here we have the living room. As you can see, super spacious living room. I got this pet house. I think I spent like 40 US dollars per night. 40 US dollars per night, guys. I don't know how to tell you that, that how affordable that is. In Miami, I get a room this big for 300 US dollars a night. So, okay, as you can see right here in the living room, we have two couches, right? So, two seater, three seater, basically. Oh, again, first time I sit down here on the whole trip. Oh, I'm relaxing too on the other couch. <laughs> <laughs> and that couch is actually a, what is it, a flip out? Yeah, so it flips open. Yeah, that has oh, a, the cool. leg thing that comes out. Yeah, and then besides this one, we also have a massaging chair. Yeah, we haven't tried that yet, have we? We haven't, dude, we haven't had a second to sit down here. Crazy. <laughs> so from here, let me show you the kitchen. So we have the dining area right here, dining, super spacious. You got plates over there, cups over there. Um, got like a tiny little chandelier right here. <laughs> <laughs> this is set up for six people, perfect. Got your forks, got your knives. Look at all the cups here, look at this. 
so many cups. You got cups for every type of occasion. It's funny though because they have some wine glasses, but it's a dry state. But I just learned something today. Foreigners can drink. People from here cannot drink. And this is something very strange. Look up here. What is that? <laughs> wow. So it looks like maybe some electrical outlet that never got completed. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you should expand on this and like cover that. <laughs> and over here we have the kitchen. And as you can see, kitchen's very spacious as well. I mean, this is way bigger than my kitchen. It's like... It's bigger than some apartments. Dude, huge. We have this little area over here where we set up Sam's computer. So Sam can work. We're like standing here. Yep. Microwave. Lots of water because this is the dry stand. It's freaking dry as hell. Right here we have the fridge, and all we have is water, because <laughs> it's so hot. So eight bottles of cold ones. Just eight bottles of cold water, <laughs> amazing. Over here, we have our Wi-Fi actually parks right here. We have this little coffee maker, right? We got yeah. a stove oven, so if you want to make some stuff. And right here we have a water dispenser, so clean water. Clean your dishes right here in the faucet. You can just dry everything here, perfect. And then let me show you Sam's room. Oh. Wow, it cleaned up for you, man. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so as you can see, this is Sam's room. Nice and spacious bedroom, queen size bed. And right here we have the closet. Pretty big closet. We have some extra bedding in case you get cold, which I doubt. All right, here we have the bathroom. As you can see, very spacious bathroom, very upgraded when it comes to Indian bathrooms because we have a separation and this is a real shower. We have a shower curtain right here. We have the toilet. Faucet, everything's nice and clean, it's pretty updated. If this building's from the 70s, this is a major upgrade. You know what was different about this place? Is we didn't have the, one of those uh, heated water tanks up oh, top. That, that's another thing. So, we had separation between the toilet and the shower, and we don't have heated water, but you know what? There is a button that I have to press for the heater, and I'll show you that now. Okay. But it heats up the whole entire house. And this is the master, right? Master bedroom. Queen size bed, actually that's a king size bed, it's a lot bigger than yours, right? This place is huge. Yeah, it's pretty spacious, I mean, and what's, what's strange to me is, why would he put space in between the back? <laughs> that's uh, a... That's yeah, what, what would you be doing here? What would you be doing here? You know what I think it was? I think it was probably this because of the window. Oh. But I would have put it to the other side like that and then put a TV here and yeah. then made that the better on, you know? That'd be yeah. better. So we have like a sitting area here, we have two chairs, a little table. We have here, I don't know exactly what this is, but this is where I'm keeping all my presents. <laughs> like setting up, I got a bunch of stuff for my kids, my wife, I got my luggage here, just to the side. And over here we have a little armoire. This is where I have my computer, all my stuff charging, my, you know, I got extra TP in case I need it. Definitely need it here. And here is the bathroom, you know? Pretty nice bathroom, it's decent, it's all I need. Got a huge shower, toilet, faucet, yep. and little space on here to the side, and that's it. And then over here, let me show you this. So as you can see, red on. He put geyser, I didn't get that, I had to ask him about that, so that's the heater. So down, Wow. and this is the pressure pump, Yeah. and this, if you put it up, more water comes out of the shower, like a lot more. I actually had a running, I pressed it, it went boom, like shot out, oh, damn. insane. But yeah, man, I, I love this bathroom, I love this apartment, I mean, I would love to have this in Miami, something similar to this. Very, very spacious. I mean, this could be like something like, I don't know, 2,500 square feet. It's pretty big. I have a tiny terrace here, which is so random. Oh, blinded by the light. Oh, it's actually pretty big. Come here, come here. Oh, is it? Yeah. So, the reason we have this is because there's monkeys on the building. You don't want a monkey to be here when you come out here to have a cigarette, right? <laughs> I don't smoke cigarettes, I'm just saying, like having your coffee or whatever, come out here as a freaking monkey. Okay, let's go Get to the terrace. Here. The main feature of this apartment, why I really love this place, I wish we could have used it more, but it's all good. <sighs> this is one of the biggest terraces I've ever seen. It's crazy big. Whoa. How big is this? It's huge. Huge, huge. Like we gotta walk around the whole area just to show you how big it is. So I have some of Sam's clothes here drying. <laughs> but it's so dry that it, it looked and it's all dry already. I know, man. Oh, it's only big. been a few hours, crazy. Look at this. That's how hot it is here. We have a little table here, an umbrella. In case it rains, I think it does rain a lot in the dry, well, part of the summer months. And this is how big our terrace is. I mean, this terrace basically matches the apartment in terms of size. We have, I guess, like a mini garden here, right? 
another garden. I mean, these are plants that are all basically dying because it's so freaking hot, but I, they're not really dying. I mean, they're just basically dormant right now. And then, as you can see over here, that's a Medabad. Look, beautiful view of Medabad. That's actually not the end of the terrace. The terrace actually goes to the top. Look. Wow. Amazing. Amazing. Love this place. Let me tell you. All right, so what Sam and I did is we came out here this morning and we saw monkeys. Freaking monkeys, can you believe it? Careful. Point up, point up. Yeah. Oh, here we go. As you can see, this terrace is, is like an extra storage area. They have a lot of things thrown around that they're doing for the building, you know, I don't know, piping, other stuff, electrical. But yeah, I mean, this apartment is amazing for the price, it cannot be beat. When you come to Medabad, you have to stay here. I mean, really, it's only a 20 minute drive, you know, with no crazy traffic to the center. And a lot of things that you do around here are like in many different directions. UNESCO World Heritage Site right here. Uh, you know, the city center's over there. There's a market here. You can actually just go eat right outside if you really just get hungry. I've loved in the past 48 hours here. I have one more day in Ahmedabad. We have the past few days have been incredible from UNESCO World Heritage Sites to delicious food. And yeah, the people here, the people in Gujarat are just amazing. I really love it. And if you guys didn't know, Gandhi is from Gujarat and he actually stayed here in Ahmedabad and you can see his house if you come here. Now guys, if you love this video, give it a thumbs up. Give me a comment below, subscribe to my channel, subscribe to Sam behind the camera, and we'll see you on the next food and travel adventure throughout incredible India. Oh, I need water right now.